kind of a schematic of our t cares repeater system you can see we've got the original repeater we had was on was on moccasin uh, it's at 3,000 feet moccasin peak stands out out in the valley we'll show you where that is in just a little bit it's uh it's over by don pedro and then we have Duckwall. Duckwall is our main repeater. It's up on a 6,000 foot mountain, uh, just to the east of Sonora and north of Groveland. And then we have an, another repeater that we've had for, for years up at, at Pinecrest. It's at the 8,200 foot level at the very top of the chairlift on um, Dodge Ridge. And uh, those three are all linked together. So a person down here hiking in Red Hills can bring up moccasin, It'll, it will go up on UHF to Duckwall. Duckwall will repeat it in UHF to Pinecrest. And then a hiker or a snowmobiler or a skier or whatever at Pinecrest can, can hear that person hiking down in Red Hills. Now, we also have another repeater down at Columbia College that we're putting in. We've got uh, part of that system is in and part of it is still underway. We've got the equipment now for it. And, and the reason we've got one down there is that's in con we're using that um, in conjunction with Columbia College and we're, we're doing a cooperative project down there. And it turns out Columbia is in a bowl. I was talking about how, how Tuolumne County is so lumpy, right? Well, that's a depression. We've got other places that are peaks. And it just turns out that where Columbia College is and the, the, that part of Columbia in general, it actually does not directly see any of the other three repeaters. So <clears throat> we're putting another repeater in there to fill in. And that's, a pro that's part of the project that's still um, underway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, this is a map that we did. This comes off of one of my propagation studies maps and it shows the four repeaters. Excuse me a second. So, you can see how they're spread out around the county. This, this almost represents Tuolumne County. I don't go all the way up into the total high country here, but you can see Dodge Ridge is up in here, this area. And you can see strawberries is right next to it. And immigrant wilderness is off over to the, oops, I went, went too far. Immigrant wilderness is off to the side over here. And it covers up in this area quite well. Duckwall is on a very prominent mountain right here. And it cover, it has great coverage, you know, down into, into Sonora and, and Miwok and Twainheart and, uh, and actually does very well around Groveland and Pine Mountain Lake. Moccasin is the one that's probably the most prominent sitting out in the valley. It's, on a, it's only a 3,000 foot peak, but it, it's so prominent in the valley that it actually works really well, especially, and we'll show you uh, how, how that works in a little bit. So if you're in a car driving down towards Fresno, Moccasin is one that you could probably still get into. And then here's the Columbia College one. All right, so what, is, what does it cover? So let's start talking about coverage. The red blotches there are the area that, that the Columbia College repeaters should work. And if you look at it, if you look, here's Columbia, um, Tuttletown, Jamestown, it's got, it's got a couple of dead spots in Jamestown, one of which is probably directly on our President Craig's house. <laughs> it seems like. Poor Craig, he's in, a, he's in a bit of a depression over there. And I, I see a little dead spot right here. And I think that's right about where he lives. But yeah. it works, you know, into some part of Sonora, but not so much in East Sonora. Phoenix Lake, not so much. And by the time you get up to Twain Hart, Miwok, Long Barn, not very good. Pine Mountain Lake is really sporadic. Okay, well, that covers some area, but doesn't cover the whole county. Our goal is to cover the whole county, right? So let's look at another one. Okay, well, this is Dodge Ridge. Well, that looks pretty good. Gosh, it covers up here to Strawberry, gets back in the immigrant wilderness, Cold Springs, Long Barn, Miwok Village. Oops, sorry, I'm, my little mouse is moving things back and forth. Um, but then you start getting down here to like Pine Mountain Lake. Yeah, it's got some spots. Like, like for me, it works great because I happen to be on a hill that looks to the north. Um, some of my friends over here in Pine Mountain Lake are on hills that look to the south and they barely hear Pine Crest at all. And then you start getting down into, you know, Jamestown and Sonora. It looks really sporadic here. So this again is the problem with living in Tuolumne County. It's very lumpy. So every, each repeater has something that it will cover, but none of them cover the whole thing. So what do we do? We link them all together. And when we link them all together, this is what we get. 
That's now the coverage of our repeater system in Tuolumne. If you look, the only places you don't see red, this is like in the bottom of the Tuolumne River Canyon. Here's Hetch Hetchy. Let's see, there's, there's um, Cherry Lake and Lake Eleanor. Hetch Hetchy's up here. Those are really, really deep canyons. But I do know that at Hetch Hetchy, some areas along Hetch Hetchy will actually pick up duck wool. Um, so even back in immigrant wilderness, if, if, if uh, pine crest doesn't work in immigrant wilderness for a specific spot, it seems like duck wool almost always will. So one or the other will get back in there. But then you look at our, our population centers like Groveland is here, right? Moccasins down here. This is all the Jamestown, uh, Columbia, Sonora area. This is the 108 corridor up and down here. So there's good coverage all the way around the county. One repeater does not do it all because there's no single hilltop that, that you can see the whole county with. But with we, we've carefully selected where these four sites are, and we think we've got a great, great coverage for Tuolumne County. But I know a lot of you guys drive outside of Tuolumne County. So this is a picture of you know, between Tuolumne County and the Bay Area. All that red in the Central Valley. Here's Sacramento up in here in the top. And you go all the way down here. Here's Fresno down here. Fresno is barely, it's starting to get blanked out. But you look in Madera and you look all the way along. These are, these are the coastal foothills right along in here. So basically all the way up to those foothills, we cover it. So if you're driving off to, you know, to go see a friend down in Los Banos or Merced or Stockton or Modesto or Escalon or any of those places, you're going to have coverage with your home repeater system all the way along. So I thought you guys would enjoy that. And then luckily we don't get into the Bay Area too much. We, we can in some areas. We actually have somebody who checks into a repeater system um, from on top of Loma Prieta, which is right down in this area. Every, <laughs> every repeater, Grayson uh, gets to talk to her. I think it's uh, Pam, if I remember right. All right. So I've got a little YouTube video. This is one that Ned did. I'm going to flip over to here. And let me, uh, let me change what I'm sharing. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. And then we'll share again. Very good. So this, this particular video is a flyover of our three main repeaters, the Dodge Ridge, Duckwall Mountain, and Mo Moccasin Peak. And I'll stop it from time to time. It just gives you a kind of an idea of, of what you can see with it. So let me let that thing start. And it takes a second to get going. Okay, so there's Moccasin Peak. If I just stop it there for a second. So this Moccasin Peak, the beauty of Moccasin Peak, Peak, let's see if I can get that set up, is that it's, like I said, it's, it's not back in the hills. It's very prominent. It's right on the edge of the valley and it has, it has great coverage, um, you know, and, and you're, you're looking up to, to Jackson, Mountain Ranch, Forest Meadows, Arnold, Jamestown. It actually, let's see if I think this may scroll a little bit here. It may or may not, I'm not sure, Chinese camp. It also goes down towards Fresno pretty well as well. Um, I don't think you scrolled on that one as much. Yeah, okay, the next one is Duckwall. This is our primary repeater. And interesting thing on Duckwall, you can see out here, we're, we've got great line of sight out to Lodi, Miranda, Stockton, Manteca, Oakdale, Modesto, Ceres, Patterson, Turlock, Newman, you know, and, and, and uh, I'll let this go a little bit further, including our own county. It's got great coverage in our own county. And Ned, Ned scrolls down here. And you can actually see, oops, let me go a little bit further. It has some coverage down in the Madera, Chowchilla, Mendota, you know, Merced. And I do want to point out that right over here is Groveland and it has Love. awesome coverage in, in Groveland and, and awesome coverage in Tuolumne, really good coverage down in Sonora and along the, the lower parts of Highway 108. Uh, it starts to fade out a little bit as you get up towards Pinecrest, but then we, we pick up the Pinecrest repeater and we'll go to that next. We're going to go and fly up to Pinecrest here in just a second or Dodge Ridge is what we call it. You can actually see the, the ski slope there. Oh, and, yeah. and there you can actually see from, from Dodge Ridge, Duckwall Mountain is, is clearly, you can actually see it on a clear day, no problem. It's not that far away. And Moccasin Peak is down here. 
And then there's, you know, covers Long Barn, Cold Springs up in that area. Oakdale out in the distance. Oakdale hears the Pinecrest repeater really well. It's probably one of the best uh, repeaters into Oakdale. Uh, Moxon is right up there with it. Stockton is over here. I think we scroll here a little bit. Let me go a little bit further. We've got Ned's advertisement for the other videos that you can find on the Ned channel. <laughs> little promo for my buddy Ned. Manteca, Stockton, Miranda, Lodi, Galt. And, uh, you know, people check in on this repeater from the Bay Area, from Sacramento quite frequently. So it, it's actually quite impressive. And you can see now you're looking all the way up. Dorrington, Big Trees, Jackson is up here. So you can get in there from Jackson. Okay, let me uh, stop sharing that. I'll go back over to my other screen. This is Moccasin Peak. This is the, the whole peak going up. I don't know if you can see the chain link fence around it. This is a Hetch Hetchy secure site. It is used for transmitting data on their, their water system and stuff. Um, also a lot of our local, um, local police and fire use this site as well. Um, we're in the little building over here. This is the original moccasin building. It's really, really old. It's a cinder block building. Um, the new one is this bigger one that you can see here. All the, the, the new equipment all goes in there. But we've got this little building to ourselves, which has actually been kind of a blessing. And then we're, we're up on the top of this tower. There's actually two towers over here. It's a, it's a very active site. Um, so that's what a repeated site looks like from the outside. And then, oops, let me get back to here. There we go. And then in Duckwall Mountain, I didn't show the outside picture, but I, this, is a, this is a typical uh, example of our setup. If you look at it, we've got a, um, so Moccasin runs, I'm sorry, Duckwall runs on a 24 volt battery system that is recharged daily with solar cells. There are huge solar panels up there. So all of our stuff's 12 volts. So we needed to run a 24 volt converter. So this power supply in the bottom is a 24 to 12 volt converter. And then we've got our VHF repeater. And again, we use VHF for all the reasons that, that, that uh, Lou mentioned. VHF works really well around mountains and whatnot and through forests. UHF, not so much. But um, uh, I'm sorry, this is the VHF repeater up here, the top one. So this is the one that is probably our primary repeater in the club. Uh, we had a, a club meeting this morning, and this is the one that we were primarily using, although we were linked up to everything else. This is the UHF uh, repeater that ties all of our linked radios together. So this one talks to all the other hilltops. And um, because we have line of sight, we don't need to worry about, you know, going through a forest in this particular case. So trees don't, don't affect it. And then this is our controller. We're using an SCOM 7330 controller. These big aluminum things over the side here, these are uh, waveguide cavities for our VHF repeater. So it allows us to transmit and receive at the same time. The cavities are, are really uh, very, very selective filters so that uh, we can transmit and receive on the same antenna. And the last slide is, um, this is, oh, actually one more slide after this. This is, these are the, the Kenwood TKR 750s that we employ in all of our site. They're, Really excellent uh, commercial Kenwood radios, and uh, we've been extremely happy with their service. They even went through a uh, hurricane-forced uh, tip over of, of uh, <laughs> the collapse of a building up on Pinecrest uh, this last winter, and the, the radio survived. So <laughs> the antennas did not, or I should say the coax did not, but the radio survived. And then as I say, for more information on our system, Ned's done some really good work. Ned's also our, our uh, the not besides being just the uh, moderator for today, he's also the, um, the, the curator for our website and the link there at the bottom, tcares.net linked repeaters. There's a whole lot of information on this particular system.